James, you guys scored 37 points in the first quarter. You only scored 51 the rest of the way. Just what kind of caused a lack of offensive execution there? Uh, we started out really good just on both ends of the ball, rebounding the basketball. Uh, I guess just the tempo or pace to slow down. Uh, we, we didn't really rebound the basketball at a, at a good enough level like we needed to, uh, especially you know after that first quarter. And um, you know it was just a hard, scrappy game, which we knew that was coming in. Um, you know we didn't make shots, but you know we still gave ourselves a chance to win, and we had plenty of opportunities. Did you get an explanation for your offensive foul late? Like why? Why the call? I mean, no. They said it was obvious, but you know me. I mean, I, I don't. I don't know another way to go up. Uh, I mean, it is what it is. But I just, you know, for me personally, I got to play better. Um, as far as like turn turnovers, some of them were careless. Uh, you know, just helping rebound and just small things that I can control. I got to do a better job of that, and I will going forward. But. Uh, just a weird game all in all. Like, it started off really good and then it just boggled down for whatever reason. So um, I think we got to just do a really good job of, of trying to sustain uh, our pace for 48 minutes. You still having opportunities to win, just kind of crunch time down the stretch, whether it was a couple missed free throws, the, the turnover. Just yeah. How would you sort of evaluate? Yeah, it's got to be better. That's it. It's, just, it's pretty simple. <laughs> and I will be. Like, just no, no thought into it. Um, be better. Move on. Next game. Is this when it's nice that you can just play again tomorrow? Yeah, definitely. Definitely is one of those. It's one of those. And that's a good thing about this league. You know what I mean? You, you have a, a rough night, a rough stretch, or whatever the case may be. You, know, you keep putting the work in, and you be ready to go the next night. So, um, I mean, it's not going to get any easier. And uh, we need we need games like this um, because going into the postseason, it's, it's going to be it's going to be games like this where everything isn't so pretty. You know, we're not making shots, or um, and it's going to come down to a couple possessions. Toronto's so long too. Like they've got so many guys that you mentioned the rebounding, and just maybe what is what's so unique about facing a team like that? Whether it's the way they rebound, the way they can defend, and that, that type of stuff. Yeah, they just. I mean, they're, like you said, they they they're long, athletic. Um, so when a shot go up, you know, we gotta you know overly harp on just finding the body and not even looking for the ball, but just making sure we box out. Um, and then offensively, our, our, we started off really good, and then. You know, once we didn't get the re- we didn't rebound the ball at a high level, you know, we had to play against their half court defense, and you know it was pretty it was pretty difficult. So uh, our spacing wasn't great, you know what I mean? And it just uh, it was just a weird game. And, and after that first quarter, or after that first six seven minutes of the game, and um, with that being said, we still have you know multiple opportunities to win the game. So um, yeah. Do you think even as the rebounding got a little bit better in the second half, that that affected your pace, their ability to kind of crash the glass? I mean, you know, but we, we really usually do a good job of gang gang rebounding and pushing out, you know what I mean? But our we just we didn't have no bursts. We didn't like we weren't wide, we weren't running the, running for layups. Um, we did it on occasions, but it wasn't consistent enough, you know what I mean? And just getting back and playing against their half court defense, it felt like we was doing that every possession. It might be hard to sort of look after a game like this, but when you when you came and started playing, there were twenty four games left yep. in the regular season. You're this was the twelve, so you're basically halfway through that. Yep. Um, where do you feel like you guys are at overall, just with, with you joining this team, and maybe what are kind of the next priorities? Uh, we're we're in a good place, you know, but we just need to be a little bit more consistent, uh, which we will be, you know what I mean. Uh, but just finding things that work, finding things that don't work. Um, Making shots, is, everything's is great. You still got to guard, missing shots, and not having a great offensive night like tonight. You still got to find ways to win. So, uh, all this lear- learning experiences, uh, I'm glad we're going through it, and uh, we just got to keep pushing. You played uh, 42 minutes, the two games prior to this, and 38 tonight. How are you feeling physically? How's the campaign? I'm good. Uh, I mean, what was what, what this? Twelve games for me? Well, really, like ten, eleven. Um, so I'm just trying to trying to keep the my, you know my pace and um, you know my energy up. You know, it's a lot of minutes. Uh, you know, and I'm trying to produce and trying to get to the basket and trying to just get be involved in, in mostly every possession. So um, I feel good. I feel good for now. Uh, I just got to keep going, keep working on my uh, you know every single possession, like making sure I'm involved. Um, you know, which is, it comes with cardio and it comes with just being on the court and, and uh, being active in every possession. Do you know how you feel uh, That's the plan. I plan on playing. Thanks, sir. Appreciate it. James Harden mentioned.